So, quick Google search on the internet of keywords, drink water. And this comes up. It's quite familiar. It's our filling station. It's already all around the country. Second one, pails lined up to get clean water. Third, of course, in rural areas, you have the water coming out of the deep wells and that's a similar thing. So what does this mean? If there's difficult access to clean drinking water. Okay? In fact, of the 100 million people in the country right now, more than half or 53 million of them do not have access to clean water. And most of these are coming from the rural areas who are not serviced by pipe water. So you break it up again and you have rural areas around 40 million. So what are they saying? So we need a solution. And one of the solutions that the DOST, or the Department of Science and Technology, came up way back about five, six years ago was a clay pot filter. Of course it works, okay, to a certain degree, but we needed something more robust, okay, that's more expensive and you cannot feed it in the rural areas because they have no pipe water. Or you can have one that's coming from overseas, it's a well, this is a life straw. If you can buy one in the country and they have something bigger, but you imagine having to transport them in the case of an emergency or a disaster. So we did our own, okay, way back six years ago. We had our own. We deployed in during the typhoon Yolanda in Tacloban. Okay, that was November 2013. It worked, but it's just a single module. We delivered 10. The Department of Science and Technology in the affected areas made the decision that maybe we can couple them together. Okay? So why not? So we did another version, but it's still very difficult to use. It's very heavy. And so we needed another iteration. So we have something a bulky, a heavy, and it's not fit for transport. Just imagine having to transport that to areas that is no transportation. So we have to do the iteration again. From 2010, from the normal dome type ceramic filters, then we have the handle type, and then we made it smaller, and then we figured out we can actually make it into a rectangle and make it more compact and make it thinner so can we fit more. So we wanted to have something a robust, a modular, an efficient, and portable, portable water filtration system, but it's a mouthful. And so the next project came out as what we call the Pogwete project, or it's a shortcut for portable, portable water equipment for disasters and emergencies. Pogwete. But it also means in Filipino, there's a certain degree of hesitance. It could be. Okay? So, but the concept here is that we still have a modular system, okay, with a compact filtration system based on ceramics, and that if you bring one, okay, everybody brings one, they can actually stack them up like Lego and produce more water. So each one of you right now in the room can actually bring one and then go to the disaster area bringing in drinking water. So everybody can become a provider of clean drinking water. It's just so easy, right? Okay? But it didn't end there. We had a problem with the naming. So, with this time, with the request of the Department of Science and Technology, we call it now the POJUS, or the modular, modular Portable Water Equipment. The tagline, clean water anytime, anywhere. Because we've proven that we can produce clean water from any source, be it flood waters or your wastewater. Okay? It looks like this right now. There's a booth right there. It's still a single module, modular, okay? You can take the top off, the bottom off, the cover off, the whole ceramic filter off, and you can still stack them. So it's like having a set of Legos. Okay? Modular, stackable, like Legos. It's also upgradable because uh, it's modular. So it's also completely recyclable. Imagine that. So you can recycle the whole thing after you use it or after a few years of use. Why? Now we are opening the whole design for everybody to tinker with. Okay? It helps us in advancing the innovation. Okay? 
there's a lack of degree of customization because during the user friendly uh, user talks, they wanted something different in each scenario. So why not let them? It becomes like your mobile phone. You want stickers on them, you can put it there. So if you can design it, you can also help you build it. So what this is is a modular, stackable like Lego, upgradable, uh, customizable, and completely recyclable. It becomes your own filter system. Okay? But our partnership goal right now is actually we need partners who will help us, okay, and investments will help us put up a manufacturing capability to build this modular portable water equipment. Okay? So if you want to talk further about the details of this project, please do get in touch with me after this talk. Thank you very much, and I'm Shalom Pasqua again. Thank you, Mr. Pasqua. We have joined the Southern Marathon. Any questions from our colleagues from Accenture? Hi, Shalom. Thank you very much for starting us off with a very vibrant pitch. Uh, my question to you would be about, um, you talked about manufacturing, who, who do you see actually buying this product? Who would the customers be? If uh, you can see the left side of the business card, actually, uh, we have this segment, customer segments. One is the rescue and tactical, because it's originally designed for disasters and emergencies to create the project. Then you can have one if it's good enough for those, like any other uh, technology before, uh, utilized in tactical or rescue systems. You can use it in your home also becomes your rescue equipment for your home. And you can also use it for outdoors. Then you can also have stuff for community. Then you can stuff for commercial system, like wastewater or food uh, industry. And then you can also have an industrial. This is the real big industrial system. So it's really modular. You can upscale it. It's completely scalable because of its modularity. It's uh, again very exciting to see all of the, the markets you've got available to you. And it raises a question for me, which is the one of, of scale up. Of what are your plans? Have you thought about, yes, you can sell 10 units or you can sell 100 units, but when you've got a, a population of perhaps 50 million people wanting clean water. How are you going to manufacture enough units? That's why we are trying to get one, this investment, for you to build a manufacturing capability. But this manufacturing capability doesn't mean that you have to build a large acre size. It's actually the technology for manufacturing. Let's say 3D printing, it's a disruptive technology. You can automate it with little user input. You can design it in CAD, you can have it, and then you put it out, and you can franchise the whole technology, and each one of those communities can have a manufacturing facility of their own. Thank you. Any other questions from the audience? Yeah, so the basic unit can actually produce about two glasses of drinking water per minute. So that's, and then if you can stack them up, you just increase the total volume. So one unit only. But if you have like 10 units, just multiply it by 10. Right? So it's a little bit very straightforward. You need one cubic meter divided by 500 milliliters per minute. Okay. You get the time and how many units you need. Okay, last question, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, how dirty is the water that the unit is able to process in order for it to be for the water to be portable? Can I go back a few slides? Well, actually, there's a photograph here. Uh, it's the core of the technology. You see the left side photo? That's flood waters or drainage waters. You put in the pump, 
put it to the filtration system, and then actually takes out the drinking water already. It's a single stage filtration system. But if your needs are like, you have brackish water, you have oil in it, that actually came from the septic tank. Yes. But the uh, secretary will take a check from it, so it's okay. <laughs> well, that was for our secretary. I only drank from it, I've seen that. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Pasco. Thank, thank you very much. much.